Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with PrevMed, Heart Attack, Stroke, and Cancer Prevention. Uh, why worry about a cure and whether it's going to work when you can prevent it? Uh, today we're doing part three in a series of testing uh, on, for inflammation. We, in parts one and two, we covered the two most important tests for cardiovascular inflammation, a test called uh, microalbumin creatinine ratio, which looks at whether the kidneys are spilling protein due to cracks in the endothelium of the kidneys or the intima in the glomeruli or the filters of the kidneys. In the second, second one, we looked at LPPLA2 or PLAC2. Um, it's an enzyme that's very active in terms of pulling in, uh, signaling immune system cells to come in, T cells and macrophages and then activating those cells to start digesting uh, plaque. And that is the essence of creating hot uh, plaque, liquefied center. Uh, it's called, and the scientific name is necrotic plaque. So those are two very important and the most important. Uh, today I'm going to cover the least important. It's HSCRP. And in fact, in a previous video I used this image. This is... Um, the uh, an inf inflammation panel done on a female and these are the uh, items of it myeloperoxidase which we'll cover in a later video plaque 2 which we covered in the last one hscrp which i didn't even mark because i tend to ignore it i don't ignore it but i ask i tell patients don't get upset if you have a positive and everything else looks good it's these others that really tell the story microalbumin creatinine ratio uh, and F2 isoprostane, which is the lie detector test. Um, so, <clears throat> what is uh, C-reactive protein? Well, here it is. Uh, that doesn't tell you a whole lot. If you, if you look at Wikipedia, Wikipedia basically says this, C-reactive protein is an annular, which means ring-shaped, pentameric, which means uh, five, five identical components in a protein. It's found in blood plasma, and the levels rise in response to inflammation. Basically, it also says it's an acute phase uh, reactant, meaning um, it is part of in the inflammatory process, when the immune system becomes alerted that there's a problem, there's a foreign body or there's something that needs to be attacked and digested, that's called a few, acute phase. Here's what happens. Uh, macrophages and T-cells, remember those are the ones that go into the plaque and create inflammation by trying to uh, digest it. When when they see this uh, plaque and they want to start digesting it, they release a, a signal called interleukin-6. That's also an inflammatory marker. We did, we, uh, again, um, the Beldonian method, they don't tend to track that. And if you look at it in research, there's good reasons for it. It's not that reliable. Uh, so once the macrophages and T-cells release this um, interleukin-6. It goes to the liver. The liver uh, then releases C-reactive protein. And in the, this is another, um, another version of the Cleveland Heart Labs inflammation panel. That's mine, as you can tell. Um, and it's called HSCRP. HS basically just stands for high sensitivity high sensitivity C-reactive protein. Um, now again, <clears throat> so why are we looking at that? Why is it part of the panel? Uh, why do I tend to not pay much attention to it? Well, it, it, as you know, there are very few docs in the medical community that know, even know or watch for signs of um, inflammation cardiovascular inflammation, they just look at, tend to look at LDL, which is not a, a strong sign. Of those few docs that do tend to look for inflammation, 
The one thing they do tend to know to look for is HSCRP, their C-reactive protein. However, C-reactive protein is not the greatest, and here's why. Um, <clears throat> if I have a flu or a viral illness today, I can have an elevated CRP three weeks from now. Everything else looks fine, and my uh, elevation is coming from that flu. It's not coming from cardiovascular inflammation. So it, it, CRP is a good general or generic uh, indicator for inflammation, but it's not a good one for uh, cardiovascular inflammation. So that's why we don't look, look for it. And if yours is high and everything else is normal, don't be too worried. I've actually had a few patients that had chronically high ones, and uh, although they didn't have a diagnosis yet, you know, I, I shared with them, I suspected that they probably had some sort of chronic uh, low-grade inflammatory process. Now, what does that mean? Uh, it could mean, you know, bad things. Uh, the worst ones and the worst, I mean, the most well-known are things like rheum uh, rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. Those are inf uh, inflammatory diseases. Also, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's diseases, Crohn's disease are inflammatory diseases. But again, these patients didn't have any of that, but they, for decades, had had a chronically low HSC, I mean, chronically elevated HSCRP. Those patients still are not sick yet, though.